Hi everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it's time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap. Look, I look all nice and fresh, teeth nice and white. I feel all nice and clean and fabulous. Okay, so Angel Sudsy Recap is the world where we delve in... Oh, fuck, did I fuck that up? God damn it. Okay, it's Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and do a few reality shows on the side. And we're now we're stuck in daytime television, so first thing we're going to do is Days of Our Lives today. Okay, so with Days of Our Lives this past week, this was really interesting because this was Ron Carlovati's first full week as head writer, right? So it's interesting because, you know, it's not like some sitcom where you just, you know, you can, uh, you know, start from scratch, right? You... What he had to do was he basically had to clean up a lot of the mess from the previous head writer and he had to kind of get a lot of stuff out of the way before he could tell his own stories. And one of the stories that he's telling, which uh, was kind of obvious, is the Angelica Devereaux uses Hattie and Bonnie Lockhart for their revenge. Now, here's the thing. I get that he, he needed to figure out what to do with Bonnie Lockhart. Uh, not Bonnie Lockhart, Angelica Devereaux. Because it didn't really make a it doesn't really make a lot of whole a whole lot of sense why she's there. Like, you know, sh there wasn't a whole lot of build up to why she was there. Nothing really happened that we cared about, which is why she was there. Do I have a dimple? I feel like I've got a, a line. Do I have like a Maybe it's because I was holding my face like this. Hmm. I don't know. Um, so, do I have one on that side too? I'm not wearing any makeup. Okay, I don't wear makeup. Unless I'm doing drag. And I haven't done drag in, oh, I don't know, uh, 12 years. Yeah, those days by me. Okay, so moving on, sorry. So I, I kind of understand that he's like, okay, so we're going to bring back Hattie and we're going to bring back Bonnie Lockhart. Um, and that's going to give a lot of stuff for um, uh, Deidre Hall and Judy Evans to do because now they're playing two characters. I do miss, though, Andrea Hall as Hattie instead. I'm just gonna, I'm not going to lie. I do miss her as Hattie, but Deidre Hall's doing a fantastic job. Um, anywho, um, I'm glad that they brought Bonnie Lockhart back. That is the first thing. First of all, I'm glad, I'm glad that he appreciates Bonnie Lockhart. She's fierce. Now, with Bonnie Lockhart back, I hope that they bring back her children, Mimi and Patrick. Although, I think Patrick got arrested, and that's why he's not on the show anymore. And then Mimi left town once Bonnie went to jail. I know she went to jail for Mimi, but we'll see what happens. I'm definitely curious to see how this plays out. But it's, I, I'm I'm grateful. I mean, don't get me wrong. Angelica is still, you know, um, if she had a mustache, she'd be twirling her mustache. Uh, sorry, I had a huge belt I couldn't get out. Okay. Um, so that's a little bit annoying, but for the most part, it makes sense that, you know, she's getting involved with Hattie and, and Adrian. Now, before... Before Ron Carlovati took over, there were rumors that Alexander was coming back on the show, as in not Xander, but Alexander. And maybe that's why they won't bring him back on the show, because it kind of doesn't make sense to have two characters named Alexander, but whatever. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen anymore, but we'll see. Because with the whole... Um, with the whole uh, storyline between Angelica and Hattie and Bonnie... You know, now I don't think that there's a need to bring back Alexander because it's obvious that whatever Angelica has planned has nothing to do with Alexander. He might be the reason why she's doing it, but I don't think that it ha the, this whole plan has anything to do with him. So we'll see how that goes. One thing that you definitely think that uh, Ron is trying to um, clean up is this whole nonsense with Dario. It's it's some bullshit. So I definitely see an end to that story coming soon. And it's already been announced that um, Dario's leaving the show. So I definitely think that, that is, that's what's going to happen. Is they're going to be... I definitely think that they should keep Gabby and Rafe. But I definitely, you know, yeah. I'm very curious to see... Now, they've mentioned Sammy... 
They've mentioned Sammy between Marlena and Roman. So that's interesting. Because uh, obviously, you know, Sammy's coming back to the show. So we'll see how that's going. And I'm very excited about that. Because you know I love me some Sammy. Um, and one thing that's kind of... The thing is, is Days does not is not lacking for female villains there's plenty of female villains already in salem there's angelica Devereaux. there's um kate uh I, remember kate you know she hasn't had a whole lot storyline wise to do lately but she probably will coming up soon i hope but that was again her marriage to andre was something that the previous writing regime had done so it's like okay well how are we going to clean that up we'll see how that goes Again, it, it's going to take time. So it's one of those things where I'm definitely, I'm willing to wait and see how the show goes. I just hope that um, Ken Corday, who's the executive producer, doesn't have another, oh my God, there are not enough people are watching the show and we're going to fire everyone again. It's like, okay, you need to calm down. And you need to stop shooting so far in advance. I mean, I get the financial aspect why you have to shoot so far in advance. I found out that they slashed NBC slashed Days of Our Lives' budget by 40%. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is, I mean, that is, ugh, it's it's annoying. That is really super annoying. I'm really over that. That's that's That just shows that, you know, NBC doesn't really care that much about daytime. You know, it's annoying. I hate that. And all the kadoos that I gave to Days of Our Lives last week for not um, breaking in for the OJ trial, well, I'm taking it back because they broke in for the fucking Donald Trump, whatever the hell he did last week. I don't remember. It wasn't it wasn't worthy of breaking into a soap, I'll tell you that much. L listen, just as an FYI to NBC, if you want, if I, no, if I want to find out what's going on with Donald Trump, I will check my Twitter. Okay, I'll check my Twitter because I don't even follow him, but everyone else that follows him that, that I do follow, which is not that many people to be honest with you, but the few people that I do follow that follow him, they retweet his shit like crazy. So it's, that's, that's perfect. And Lord knows my Facebook blows up with people talking about Donald Trump, good and bad, mostly bad for, but there are a couple that do good in, on my Facebook, but whatever. The point is, is that you don't need to bust into my fucking stories. I hate that. That's some bullshit. It really is. God. God. Ugh. Okay. I'm really curious to see how they bring Will Horton back. I don't know how that's going to fucking happen. I do know that they are bringing back Eileen Davidson to the show. You know I love me some Eileen Davidson. I loved her on Housewives, which FYI, she's not coming back to the Housewives next year because Young and the Restless and Days of Her Lives have her too busy. And that's unfortunate because I think she brought a lot of people to daytime from the Housewives, which was good. But, you know, it's unfortunate that she couldn't maintain her role on the Housewives. That's That sucks. Um... But I definitely think that, oh, the, see, you know what? You know how I thought that I had a, a pimple, but it's really a reflection. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm starting to clue into this whole thing. Okay, so she is going to be playing a character, and they haven't said who she's going to be playing. She could be playing Kristen Demira. She could be playing Susan Banks. God, I hope it's Susan Banks. Susan Banks is my second favorite daytime character ever. My first favorite is Tabitha Lennox. Tabitha Lennox was a fierce bitch. She really was. She was fucking fierce as hell from Passions. She was great. Um, but uh, actually, I think Susan and Tabitha were both created by Jim Riley. Yeah, I think they. I think they were. Oh my god, I just now realized that. Anyway, Susan Banks is a fucking laugh riot. She is hilarious. Hi, hilarious. I love her. She's crazy, and I, I just love everything about her. I think she's fantastic, so I can't... I really hope they bring Susan back. I really do. Um, and that's pretty much what went on on Days of Our Lives this week. Not a whole lot happened. It was mostly just Dario's bullshit and the shit with Angelica Devereaux and Hattie and, and Bonnie, and that was pretty much it. That was kind of the whole week, so... 
anyways, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please, oh, and there was some drama with uh, Eric, uh, not, well, kind of between Eric and Nicole and um, Brady and, uh, God, I don't even remember her name, Horton, um, Jennifer Horton. She's so boring, I can't even remember what her fucking name is. I really can't. Anyways, we'll see how that plays out. So, it was it was nothing to note last week. Maybe next week it'll be better. Okay, so thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Please feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Angel Benton. You can hashtag days to talk days of our lives. Or you can hashtag why arts talk young and the restless. Or... You can hit that subscribe button on my YouTube channel to get YouTube videos sent into your inbox every single day. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a wonderful night. Peace out and wubba, wubba, wubba.